Hello, I'm Harold Jones, Dean of the School of Health Professions at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Thanks for joining us for another discussion in our continuing monthly series where we interview experts in our school. These experts are leaders helping to shape the future of healthcare through tailoring innovative solutions to real world problems. Joining us today is Dr. Jim Rimmer, an internationally known researcher in rehabilitation science. For 30 years, he has developed and directed programs for people with disabilities. He recently joined the School of Health Professions as the Lakeshore Foundation Endowed Chair in Health Promotion and Rehabilitation Sciences. He is also the director of the UAB Lakeshore Foundation Research Collaborative. Jim, thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. First question I want to ask you is, how did you become interested in the beginning about this interaction between physical activity and people with disabilities? Growing up in New York City was a fascinating experience. Uh, I, I uh, spent a lot of time outdoors back in the early 60s. You can imagine there wasn't uh, the availability of social media and technology that there is today. And so uh, I really began my life and my livelihood uh, and all the friendships I established through the medium of physical activity. But one thing that resonated with me when I was growing up in, in the city was the, uh, the hardship on children with disabilities who didn't get an opportunity to participate and play like the rest of us. So I became very interested at a very early age in teaching some of the uh, neighborhood children who are unable to play, catch, run, uh, how to do those activities because I felt uh, in my heart that we, we were doing a terrible injustice to them by not having them uh, part of the social fabric of the neighborhood. Jim, you've had a remarkable career so far in this field. Could you tell us a little bit about what we've learned over the last few decades and where really the future is related to research and our understanding of how physical activity and disability interact? What we've learned is that uh, the research base associated with health and wellness um, has been unfortunately missing research findings on people with disabilities. For the last 30 years, there has been uh, a substantial amount of research done on health and wellness, but people with disabilities have often been excluded. In the future, and I, and I certainly believe that UAB will become the portal of the best research in the world in this area, in the future what we need is an inclusion science, which addresses a relationship between non-disability researchers working closely with disability researchers in addressing similar questions. So when questions uh, are raised associated with diabetes or obesity or cancer, instead of having these silos of research being conducted on people with disabilities alone, we need to become part of the research fabric and the infrastructure in a major university like UAB. Jim, most of your career has been in one location and you've done remarkable work there. What is it that was special about the opportunity of the UAB Lakeshore Collaborative that brought you here to Birmingham? We have a tremendous opportunity uh, in Birmingham to develop a Framingham-like study that addresses longitudinally the important questions that have been unanswered in the disabled population. Currently know today, uh, according to the U.S. Census data, that there are approximately 54 million people with disabilities, many of whom have the lowest social determinants of health, very poor health behavior practices, uh, unavailable programs in their communities, uh, lack of resources to support the health that they need in order to prevent secondary conditions and other health conditions. So we in Birmingham, uh, thanks to you and many others, recognize the important need that we have in addressing questions longitudinally, the same way that Framingham was established many years ago, where we actually started to create uh, uh, numbers for blood pressure and cholesterol based on data that we've obtained uh, among non-disabled populations. So we'd like to see the same thing occur, and Birmingham is the perfect place for people with disabilities and for this longitudinal study to occur. There are a lot of people, particularly those who aren't in the Birmingham community, that may not know about the Lakeshore Foundation. What is special about the Lakeshore Foundation that helps create this wonderful opportunity? Lakeshore is, is, is in my opinion, the international leader in health and fitness. Uh, they have tremendous facilities uh, that are completely universally designed for people with disabilities. They have a staff who recognizes and understands how to work with people with disabilities. They have built an infrastructure at Lakeshore that is absolutely tremendous in terms of not only universal design principles that really need to be taught to many other 
organizations around the country and world, but they also embrace the concept of the social model of disability, which really relates to how you treat people with disabilities as an equal rather than what we often have heard about in the past, uh, people with disabilities feeling somewhat diminished in the healthcare field. So Lakeshore has all of the pieces in terms of facilities, programs, and a highly qualified staff. What special opportunities occur by pairing an institution like the Lakeshore Foundation with an institution like UAB? This, in my opinion, again, this is the only location in the country and world where you've got the uh, constellation of experts in the medical and rehabilitation sciences field uh, with practitioners and program directors and uh, individuals with disabilities who understand the importance of working together to address very important research questions that have been unanswered in this population. If you look at most of the research in the area of health promotion and health, uh, people with disabilities are often used as an exclusion criteria. So we have 60, 70 years of great research in all areas, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, cancer, but you see very few studies that also address those same questions in people with disabilities. Uh, recently, I know you received some great news from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention related to a grant application uh, that established the National Center on Health, Physical Activity and Disability here in Birmingham. Could you tell us a little bit about that center and about what the work of that center is? The National Center on Physical Activity and Disability uh, recently had a name change as we uh, began to look at the importance of nutrition and environmental determinants of health we changed the name to National Center on Health, Physical Activity and Disability. The center has been in operation for 13 years and we're very excited that uh, in this last round of competition, which was uh, a completely new proposal, uh, we were awarded the grant uh, just a few days ago. Uh, this is a $3 million grant to look at how do we begin to address at the local community health issues that involve people with disabilities uh, in addition to addressing uh, policies in, in the area of health promotion, wellness, and health care that can become more inclusive in nature. So it's a very exciting project and we're delighted that uh, it's uh, a shared opportunity between Lakeshore and UAB to begin to address important issues uh, involving people with disabilities. As the first director of the UAB Lakeshore Foundation Research Collaborative, could you tell us a little bit about what your goals are, what you'd like to really see happen over the next 10 years? 10 years down the road I would like the world to come to Birmingham, to UAB and Lakeshore and understand how and why we should be creating a better society for all individuals including people with disabilities. And I really do believe that in this 10 year time frame we are going to become the epicenter of promoting health and physical activity and wellness uh, for the world's population of people with disabilities and when it comes to training education, program development, research programs, uh, Birmingham and UAB and Lakeshore uh, will be the place to go. Jim, thanks again for joining us today and sharing with us your insights about physical activity and the impact that it has on the life of people with disabilities. Thank you for inviting me. To learn more about the UAB Lakeshore Foundation Research Collaborative, please go to uab.edu slash Lakeshore Foundation Research. If you have any questions or comments about this topic, please feel free to contact us at uab.edu slash shp slash contact. And while you're on our website, be sure to learn more about our school. Once again, thank you for joining us today. I'm Harold Jones, Dean of the UAB School of Health Professions, where we're shaping the future of healthcare through tailoring innovative solutions to real-world problems. <music>